Hey guys, um, so let me ask you this question. While trading, which strategies are working for you? What is making you lose money? Is there anything you can change to potentially create consistent profits? To better understand how tracing can help you answer these critical questions, let's illustrate it with an example. The first thing you want to do is to start getting your trades. To do that, you're going to click on the button on the top right corner where it says Add Trade, and then you can choose between entering your trades manually, execution by execution, or importing your trades. If you have plenty of trades, I'll suggest you import them to start with. So I'm going to click here on Import, and then I'm going to select Think or Swim as my broker. Okay. And then I'm going to follow the instructions on the right hand side and then import my trades. Once you have added your trades, what we recommend to do is to start tagging your trades with your strategies and mistake, if any. So in order to do that, I want to click on a trade. I'm going to scroll down and here where it says setup, I'm going to choose among the strategies that I have used in the past or I have entered here in the past, or I can create a new one. In this case, I'm going to say I use the earnings winner setup. And for this specific trade, which was a loss, I'm going to say I made a mistake. And the mistake was uh, that I chased the stock. Okay. We also recommend that you add your targets and your stop losses so you can track closely your management. Okay. So in order to do that, uh, here where it says targets, you're going to enter your, your targets. And here where it says stop losses, you're going to enter your stop losses. As you can see, I have already entered three of my targets and three of my stop losses. If I scroll down, I'm going to be able to appreciate uh, the price actions that this trade went through while I was on uh, what I took my positions. You can also see my stop losses and you can also see my targets, which are the green lines here. Okay, now that I've tagged my trades, I'm going to go to reports and I want to try to identify a why am I losing money or perhaps why I'm not making consistent profits. So when I go to reports, I'm going to start with the report setups. Okay, this is going to generate a report that is going to tell me how am I doing for each one of my setups. And as you can see here, I'm trading multiple of setups, yet only five of them seems to be producing me uh, profits. These are earnings winners, contract winners, multi-month breakout, multi-week breakout, and multi and mornings breakout. Yet, the other setup seems to be either producing me losses or producing me only a, a very few profits, which I will not consider relevant. So taking now this information, I can now assume that I could potentially focus on these setups. Now, let's test this out. I want to go to the evaluator here. On the evaluator, I can identify here how much money am I making per setup. As an example, for example, here I can see with my contract winner setup, I'm making $5,000. With my earnings winner, I'm making um, $4,000. Uh, with my bull flag setup, I'm making $131. Okay, so I'm going to click on them and I want to start. What I'm looking for is I want to see how well they're performing okay so i'm clicking on the ones that i selected the ones that i want to perhaps be focusing on okay these are the five one two three four five okay so what can we tell now from this graph okay uh, let's take a look at the contract winner setup so as you can see the setup is very choppy the way how it's performing okay sometimes it's going up it's uh, providing me profit and sometimes it's going down but it doesn't seem to have a nice uptrend which is what we're looking when we're trading a, a good setup yet if we identify a this other setup for example this other setup which is multi-week breakout we have made a almost five thousand dollar which is almost the same as the contract winner setup. We have not traded uh, this setup that much, yet it seems that the curve is uptrending better than the contract winner setup. So what can infer with, the, with this information? What can we do? Well, we can say if we want more consistent profits, perhaps we should just cons uh, consider focusing on the multi-week breakout since it's performing a lot better and perhaps ignoring this contract winner setup. Yes, at the end, it's producing me money, but it's not as effective as the multi-week setup, okay? So I could do the same and uh, evaluate the other setups that I'm using to see which other one I will consider a, that potentially I could focus on, okay? So you could do the same thing with other patterns. For example, we just evaluated the setup and we could do the same thing. We could repeat the same process, not with setup, but let's say we can repeat it with the, a, the day of the week 
Uh, as you can see here, for example, the day of the week, uh, Thursday, is bringing me the most profit, okay? You can do the same thing with months, with hours, and with other data points. To keep it simple, just for this video, we're just gonna stick with the setups and then continue, all right? Now, once you have identified a pattern that you should potentially focus in on, uh, we should go ahead and go to the simulator and build a scenario where we pretend to only take trades uh, with those setups that we are choosing right now, okay? So what we see right now here, it's our current equity curve. As you can see, it's very choppy. It's all over the place, okay? So I'm gonna tell this uh, simulator, uh, I'm gonna create a what if scenario. So what if I focus on contract winners, okay? So this is gonna create a curve telling me uh, it's gonna take only the trades that we're taking with a contract winner setup, and it's gonna tell me where will my could my equity curve be if I only take trades with this. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm not only gonna focus on the contract winner setup, but I'm also gonna focus on the mornings breakout, as well on the multi month breakout and earnings winners breakout and multi week breakout. Okay, now that we have selected all the setups that we want to focus in that we want to focus on we can see that our equity curve will look a lot better if we actually focus on only those five setups and ignore everything else, okay? So instead of having here, instead of being making a $1,300, we could be sitting at $1,500 if we would have traded only these setups. So clearly we can see that avoiding all those setups and only focusing on these profitable setups could potentially lead us to a better way, right? So we have formed now this theory. What can we do now with this? How can we make a plan uh, so we ensure that we actually are following this plan, this new plan that we have found? So in order to do that, uh, we go to the management tool. The management tool, I wanna click here on a new rule. I'm gonna create a plan and I'm gonna call here my new plan, okay? And I wanna say this plan, I wanna execute this plan from September 1st which is uh, September 1st, okay, until today's date, and I'm gonna tell them which portfolio do I want this plan to apply to, okay, and then I click Save. So what this is gonna do, it's going to create, a, um, it's gonna allow me to create a plan where I can tell him which trades do I want to be focusing on and which trades should I avoid, okay? So what trades should I be focusing on? I wanna click here, Add Filter, and I wanna say, okay, I wanna focus on this setup, on a, a specific setups, the five that we have identified that are actually producing me money, which is earnings winner, contract winner, a multi-month breakout, multi-week breakout, and mornings breakout. Okay, I think we have five. Yes, perfect. Uh, additionally, uh, we can say I want to avoid certain trades. Which trades do I want to avoid? For, for to start, I'm gonna say, hey, I want to avoid a uh, trades that um actually I'm making any kind of mistakes. So if a trade is stacked with a mistake, I actually want to avoid it, right? I shouldn't be making any mistakes, okay? Uh, what else? So we can get more granular and say, for example, we can say, I wanna only focus on um, trades that are between, or stocks, or yeah, tickers that are between zero and $7, okay? And then perhaps I want to avoid a certain time of the day. Uh, for me, I do not trade um, between the noon time because it's not as volatile. I don't feel that the stock is moving. All right, so I'm gonna tell that to the system. So here I have for my plan. Of course, I can get more granular, okay? I can say what day of the week, what month, what uh, hour, what type of asset, if I wanna trade stocks, crypto, futures, or Forex, okay? I, well, I, can, I can tell them which sector do I want to focus on or what's the volume change that the ticker should be having that day, okay? So after you have made this, this plan, uh, what we see here, let's just review here, uh, it's gonna give us a, a curve like this, where we can see dots. The green dots are the traits that we have placed that have followed the plan correctly, okay? And then the red dots indicate those traits that are following uh, outside of our plan meaning that we're not following the plan. So as you can see here, I would say that at the beginning of the, when I make this plan, I was making plenty of mistakes. In, in fact, you can see here that when my equity curve is going down, I'm making plenty of mistakes here. 
Okay, I'm making an online plenty of mistakes here. In fact, here I was doing pretty well, and then we had a poll here, and then this poll was due to a mistake. I can see it because it's a we have a red dot right there. So this helps me to uh, reflect and understand that I, I am clearly making mistakes, and these mistakes are costing me money. Right. So this graph or uh, well, this trading plan is also going to make another line here. This other line is going to uh, tell us our potential. So how does we create? How do we create this potential? So in order to form this line, what we do is well, we take all the trades that have followed the plan. So if we take all the trades that have followed the plan and we ignore all those trades that have not followed the plan, we will potentially be sitting at $21,000 instead of $13,000. That is a total of 37% increase on our equity if, if we will have actually followed the plan, okay? So again, this will help us keep in track. Not only that, but we can go to the dashboard and then here we can add a widget and I'm going to add a widget. I'm going to add my, the management widget, which is one of my personal favorites. This manage, management widget is going to help me keep track of my plan that has just made. Okay. In the plan that I we just made, we, we noticed that we could potentially increase our profits by 37%. So I'm going to have this to ensure that this is what I'm aiming for to increase my profits by 37%, okay? And here below, I can see my rules. In this case, I created four rules. If you remember, I say I wanna avoid trading a trades in the noon time. So 15 out of, my, out of my latest 15 trades, those 15 trades have actually followed the plan. For example, here, I wanna avoid any kind of mistakes. And out of 15 trades, I have been able to avoid any kind of mistakes in 11. Okay, so I'm still making a mistakes, it seems like, right? I, this is a potential, something that I could potentially improve trying to not make mistakes, okay? So this widget would allow you to ensure that you are following your plan, right? And again, you can get more granular with uh, Trader Sync. You can create uh, more rules. And um, we just review a very simple example of how I detected that um, Five, only five of my setup were actually very profitable and the rest I should be ignoring. But I could do the same thing if when, when I go here, I could, for, for example, I could see which hour of the day am I making money or not and so to under, to, for me to understand which one hour should I be avoiding. I could do the same with the weekday. I could potentially do the same thing with price, which we, we did already or the sector market cap, right? I could look at this in different angles and see how can I, uh, improve my plan even better, okay? And again, this is just the surface of what trading can do for you and how can it help you to improve your trading. If you wanna learn more, we invite you to uh, check out our channel, YouTube channel, where we are constantly uploading uh, videos in terms of how can we help you uh, use your journal uh, to improve your trading, all right? Thank you so much, have a great day, and we hope that we see you here in our community.